and it says to Jeff and Slim, enjoy. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to see what this is. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It's from Wax Electronics. So uh, I'm hoping it's a detector because I really could use a new one. <laughs> ah, uh, we don't need no detector. But, uh, yeah, rods. not those dazzy yeah, rods again. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I told you about that. I can't wait to open this thing up. Let's open it up, Slim. Okay. Ooh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, let's look at the letter, Slim. What's that say? What's it say? It says, hey, Jeff and Slim. That's you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just wanted to say thank you for all the fun, informative videos that you guys make. We all here are big fans and really love your show, especially the videos on metal detecting. Yeah, Ooh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> do you think you could do more of them? What do you think, Sam? You want to sure, do some more? Sure, sure, sure. We noticed that you're using one of our older machines to find gold and decided that if you could find even more gold with a newer model. <gasps> Wow! So he closes our newest GMT. We hope you find the mother load. Sincerely, Melissa Wise, marketing manager, Wise Electronics. P.S. Can can we have a copy of one of Slim's lost gold maps? Wait a minute! <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Woo, let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> Woo, look at that, Slim! Wow! Ain't that a beauty? Yeah, it's a beauty. Wow, these are fantastic machines. I love these things. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Ooh, I love these things, man. They're really sensitive to that small gold up on the surface. Ooh, and some of the hard rock mines, too. Yeah, you know, my first machine was a White's. Did you know that, Slim? I didn't know that. Yeah, my first one was a White's. I love these things. Ooh, you know what? I bet you there's something else you didn't know. Did you know that White's is a family-owned company? It's been around for about 50 years. Wow. <laughs> Long. I know for you that ain't long at all. <laughs> for someone like me, that's a long time. <laughs> Woo -wee! And I think they're based out of a place called uh, Sweet Home. Sweet Home. Oh, what's the name of that song? See, uh, no, that's Sweet Home, Alabama. It's <laughs> Sweet Home, Georgia. No, Oregon, chump. Oh, no, that's right, Sweet Home. <laughs> Thanks, Slim. What would I do without you? <laughs> Very badly, I'm sure. <laughs> Ooh, I love this thing, Slim. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Now we can go out looking for gold with my secret gold map. <laughs> my gold map. <laughs> that's my gold map. <laughs> Ow. Uh, so that's what we're going to do is I'm going to take this new detector with my gold map, and uh. we're going to go out looking for one of Slim's old secret gold mines. Does that sound like fun to you? That sounds like fun to me. How about you, Slim? All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm going to say. So come on. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Slim. Where's my saddlebags at? It's behind your 45, chump. Oh, yeah. I see it. There it is. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Ooh, I think I got everything. <laughs> Check it out, Slim. Uh. All right. I think so. Okay. All right. Got the gold map. I got my GMT. <laughs> my gold map. Ah, it's my gold map now, silly boy. <laughs> Ow! Keeps biting me. And, of course, I got my saddlebag, so I put all my gold in. Now, when we get out there, I'm going to show you how to set this thing up uh, because there's a different way to set these things up if you're sampling some of these hard rock mines. I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, I think it's really important. There's some reading material if you're into VLF detectors that I really think you should look at. I strongly recommend getting this guy right here, Jim Strait. Woo, he knows so much about metal detecting, it's not even funny. I think he knows more than he knows than you know, Slim. <laughs> Woo, I tell you what, this is a really good book, The Nugget Shooter's Bible. And I've learned so much from this thing. I read it like three times. I think he knows more than you do, Slim. <laughs> anyway, get a copy of this book and read it. I tell you, you're going to learn a lot. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head on out there. I got my saddlebags and I got... My secret gold map. map. <laughs> and we're going to go out to one of Slim's old secret original gold mines. And I think there's some specimen gold out here. Isn't that true, Slim? That's right. Ooh, there's some beautiful specimen gold. So we're going to go find that with a VLF detector. So we're going to head out there now. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on, let's go. <laughs> Don't forget my gold, Jump. That's <laughs> my gold now. My gold. <laughs> Do you know 
this is? This is what's called an arrastra. This is what the Spaniards used to make back in the day. They would make these round pits out of stone. Then they get some big heavy stones with a center point and they would drag them around in a circle, usually by either hand powered or by mules or horses. And you can see down in here where the stone is really, really smooth. Look at that, from other stones being dragged over it. And there's the center point right there. And you know if you find one of these, oh man, that means there's some good gold in the area. Free mill too. I have never seen one of these this good. So we're gonna look around because I know there's good gold. Woo, man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Thank you, Slim. Mwah, I love this gold, man. Woo, you know what I'm gonna say, right? So come on, let's go. <laughs> You know what this is? This is tailing piles from that arrastra over there. See how finely crushed this has been? So this is what they had left over. They would shovel it over here away from the side and then they'd put more ore in. So I know that whatever ore looks like this, that's the stuff that has gold in it. And that's what you should be looking for too. So that's what I'm gonna do. So come on, let's go. Whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh, this has got to be it. Look at all this beautiful ore. Woo! Yeah, that's it, all right. That's the one. Oh man, there's a beehive in there. Woo -hoo, I'm not going down there for nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this little pile right here because it looks really good. I got a lot of iron oxide and iron and it looks like limonite from the oxidizing iron sulfide. And I think this is what Slim was talking about. So I'm going to set up the detector and go over this real quick. I ain't messing with those bees, no way. <laughs> So come here, take a look at this. I want to show you this. I don't break my neck. <laughs> okay. Now, look at this ore. See that? You've got these bands right here of iron. It looks like manganese oxide. Woo, and some iron in there. Look at that. That's some pretty looking stuff. And look at that. You can see some of that iron pyrite or all iron sulfide that's basically oxidizing out, leaving these little, what's called a bug or a pocket. Now I'll bet you there's little traces of gold that were left behind in there too. That's why they were mining the heck out of it. Now you can see that this is their good pile right here. And of course that's the mine dump over there. I don't care about this. This is the good stuff. So I'm going to set my detector up and go over this. And I'm hoping that I find some good samples. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So I don't got to say it. <laughs> I'm taking that one home. <laughs> I'm going to take gold in that one. All right, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take the BLF and I'm going to go over this pile of rock. Anything that's got a solid signal, I'm going to take it down the hill and crush it up and see if I can get any native gold. Because these bees, I tell you what, they're ferocious. They won't let me get near that ore vein. I bet you there's a ton of gold down in that mine. So I'm going to gather all this stuff up, move it to the side, and get my BLF ready. So I'll show you how to set that up. So come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, now, what we're going to do on this GMT, it's really straightforward. It's got all these presets or recommended settings, as they call it, on here. And it's marked by a little diamond. There's not a lot you really have to do. Now, when we go down and start checking our samples, I'm going to put it in manual as far as ground balancing. But out here, because I have so much material to work with, I'm going to put it up here in what's called fast auto track. And then all I got to do is turn it on and put everything in the right positions and it should be good to go. And I'm going to run over and sweep some of this ore and see if I can find something. Then we'll take it down and crush it and see if we can get anything out of it. So like I said, just put everything on the marked arrows and you should be good to go. And of course use headphones because that way you can hear those sensitive targets and you want your threshold to be really just barely audible. You don't want it really super loud. And you don't need to use this audio signal boost either. So. All right, I'm going to put my headphones on and check out this stuff because I know there's gold in there. So come on, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you what. 
Man, those bees are a rascal. They tried to bite me everywhere. <laughs> I knew I was sweet, but come on. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I gathered up all the good samples that were sounding off good on my detector. And I brought them over here to this tub. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my detector up differently now. Now that I've got them away from the main body, I'm gonna set it up in manual ground balance instead of auto track. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So come here, take a look at this. All right, now on your detector, like I told you earlier, you've got the auto track and you got the manual. Everything else is gonna be the same. So I'll flip it down there in the manual and then I'll turn it on. And you hit grab, that'll grab the last piece of ground that it, it saw. All right, now I'm gonna grab one of these nice pieces. Make sure you don't have any rings on your finger like a wedding ring. <laughs> I like this piece, look at how red that is. All right, hear that? Nice solid, nice solid beat. So I'm gonna break him open. Man, look at that. Nope. Nope. Yep. <laughs> nope. Yep. I hear him. Nope. <laughs> I still don't see him. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. Let's see if I can get that into the camera for you. See that? I don't know if you can see that. See all that red quartz? And look at that gold on the outer edges of that. See that? See if you can get that in the sunlight. Oh, see all that quartz on the outer edges? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I know there's more than that in there. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love the taste of gold. Oh man, I don't want to lose that one. I don't know where I'm going to put him. Put him over here so I don't lose him. All right, I know there's more in here because listen. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go through this. And I'll crush it all up. Now, for some of you geologists out there who want to know what this is, this is basically an uh, epithermal vein, a silicified epithermal vein, uh, which is a low sulfidation deposit. It doesn't mean there's low sulfide; it just means the content is low, and uh, it's running in the north northwest strike. And uh, there's tons of it out here. So I'm gonna crush all this stuff up and uh, see how much gold there is, and then I'm gonna show you at the very end. So. I'm gonna hurry and get this done because if I got that piece, imagine how much more I got in here. Woo, thanks, Slim. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come on, let's go.